Hello everybody, Lemus here. Uh, back with another taste test, another superfood, if you will. Um, it's been a while since we've done one of these. Uh, it's been a while since we've done any videos, as I'm sure you're aware. Been away for the holidays a little bit, um, and uh, just now kind of getting back into the swing of things, the groove of things. We did do a little bit of streaming, may possibly be doing some more soon, um, over on Twitch, on Dachi's Twitch channel. Um, which I believe is Digital Dachi. Uh, I'll put it, I'll put, as usual, I think I've always put um, his Twitch stuff down in the uh, information section, so I'll do that again today as well for this video. So, <clears throat> I got five things to try out for you. Three different types of chips and two different types of drinks. Um, so, we're going to start with one of the drinks first, just because my throat's a little a little bit parched already and I've not even started on the chips. So, the first one I'm going to try is the new um, Body Armor drink. Let me put that up here. You can see that here. Let me fix my camera thing here. Let me turn the light off there. Mamba Forever, and it's strawberry grape. Um, so yeah, so it's the new Mamba Forever, I'm guessing, um, for Kobe Bryant, I'd be guessing, yeah, Kobe Bryant, um, Constant Quest to be the best version of oneself, Mamba Mentality, let me get that lined up there, there's his jerseys, so yeah, I'm, I'm not a real big sports guy, but, um, I do like basketball, I'm a big fan of basketball, and I did really like Kobe Bryant, obviously terrible sad news uh, and tragedy struck him and his daughter I think that was three four years ago now um, it's been a minute but it's still I mean it's awful um, so yeah so when I seen they was coming out with this I, I definitely wanted to try it I remember I seen it in the store before paid paycheck day and I made a plan to go back on paycheck day and that's what I did so I like these body armor drinks they're kind of like um, Gatorade Powerade kind of type drinks um, obviously, strawberry grape is definitely a flavor combination I've never had before. And I will also say the cashier did talk this up a lot. They talked a big game, no pun intended, um, for this drink. So, it smells good. <laughs> if that's any consolation, it smells really good. Oh, it's very good. That is very good. Definitely refreshing. Um... I see one thing the cashier lady told me is that the uh, grape comes through a little bit more than the strawberry and that is true um, but that's not a bad thing because I personally like grape flavor more than I do strawberry um, God, it's very refreshing Ooh, it makes you feel good this is this is something you want I don't understand I will say this I got this at Kroger's um, I've seen body armor drinks at other stores but the only place I could find this, the Mamba Forever, was Kroger. Um, because they had it, they did, I checked at a gas station near here, and I checked the dollar store, and again, they had the Body Armor drinks, but not this flavor. And if you've got a Kroger near you, or if one of your stores do sell it, go get it. It's good. Look who's joined us. Uh, as if out of nowhere, out of the blue, look who has just popped in They're to say hello. Not any kind of editing magic. No, not at all. Um, it it definitely did not take me how long to figure Maybe out how to set this up. Should have right. Um, I so have you over on that monitor? I'm going to help over here so I can talk to you straight on. Straight on. Yeah. See, I don't have that luxury. You're like over here to my side here. So anything you do on camera, I don't really see it until the editing phase. Um. So yeah. So I just tried. Uh, just to recap for Dachi here, I did try the new Body Armor uh, Mamba Forever flavor. I have to turn this thing off because it glares off of everything. It's the new Mamba Forever Strawberry Grape Kobe Bryant stuff. It was actually really good, especially if you like grape drinks. The grape comes through more like than the strawberry. Drinks. Very refreshing. I like strawberry, but I like grape. So I will try the first of the chips I have here. Um... Let's try this one, because the other two are, like, themed together. So, Pringles Scorchin' Wavy, which God, is... you are all about different flavors of Pringles. 
I'm about different flavors of everything, man. You got to live true. life. You got to live life. But it's new. If it's new, you got to try it. And it's loaded nachos. I'm not too fond of the scorching brand because I'm I like hot stuff, but not like my heartburn and old age doesn't like it. Speaking of old age, old, I don't want to hear it. Speaking of old age, can everybody wish Dachi a happy birthday down in the comments below? Man. Um, the man just turned 31. Yeah, he's already got my old folk paper signed. <laughs> That's right. I've he's got him. To get me put in a home. I've got him a home picked out. It's a nice place where he can feed the ducks. Um, they don't smell too hot or spicy. Looks like a basic. You only got a little bit of red on it. Yeah, it's not <laughs> terribly offensive. He all of a sudden just turned into Hades from Hercules. We know it's hot. Who is coincidentally one of my favorite characters in that whole movie. Hercules is one of my top three favorite Disney movies, so I respect that. The fact that I've even watched it should shock you. It does a little bit. <laughs> um, It's good. I'm going to try one more. It's good. My only issue is it is really hot. They got a lot of that heat dust on there, so I don't really taste loaded nacho. All I taste is just spicy potato chip. Oh, this one's got a lot more red on it, though. Maybe that's where the seasoning is. Let's hope. You still look unenthused. Yeah, I got it. It still just tastes like a spicy potato. Are you just underwhelmed? Chip. Is that all it is? I am. It just tastes like a spicy potato chip. I mean, it's not bad, but for it to be loaded nacho, I'm not really tasting loaded anything other than just heat dust. Um. So, while I let that reset my palate, I think Dachi has brought something to try for us here. I did. I got uh, Choji's potato chips from Naruto. Anybody's watched it? I was talking about Naruto the other day. It says Choji approved right there. So Heck you know yeah. it's got to be done by him. The ingredients are as follows. Potato. That's, that's yeah. Boil them, mash them, stick them in a the soup. Uh, they're pink, pink salt potato chips. So who knows? I mean, These could either be really like good or really good. bad. I like pink salt. The, the pink like, Himalayan salt. Okay, they immediately smell like regular potato chips. That's kind of what I'm expecting with the pink like, salt. They're kind of like, oh, um... Almost, uh, like, like Lay's? No, they look like, um... What was that we used to get when we were younger? Munchos. We still get them. Munchos. Munchos. Yeah, they're real salty ones. He's pondering. He's not offended, but he's pondering. It just tastes like a potato chip with a little bit of salt on it. Hmm. So does it taste kind of like Munchos or more like Lay's? Like a very mild Muncho, like okay. nowhere near. Any salt. Well, yeah, because yeah, because Munchos did have a lot of salt, and they had a lot of like fluffiness to them too, a lot of airiness. Um, like this looks like a regular potato chip here instead of the. Okay. Other one. Yeah. Yeah, it's nothing incredible. I mean, I could eat these if I had a sandwich. It's fair. They are fried with palm oil, though. So maybe that's the weird flavor I'm getting off of it. Yeah, with the pink salt and palm oil. So it's kind of like a healthier alternative to like your normal Lay's or Munchos, I guess. Which makes me wonder why Choji... You figure out what... Well, he eats like 19 bags of these a day. Fair enough. <laughs> It's only healthy for so for so many bags in. <laughs> well, it says serving size is one ounce, and there's 1.9 servings per container. Jeez. It's not too bad, though. Not Nine bad grams of fat, four grams of saturated fat, no trans fat. No cholesterol, funny enough. See, I think Although the whole this. bag has 153 milligrams of sodium. Jeez. 
Then again, I don't know. Let me like look at. Let me see the sodium on this. Yeah, it's two hundred and thirty milligrams for about twelve of these Pringles. So this bag of chips has more sodium than my whole can of Pringles does. Or for, yeah, peanuts words. It's a p word. Yeah, it's a p word in there. <laughs> I mean, it's only by three. This has three more milligrams of sodium, but it's not so bad. <clears throat> well. Next on dietary my list. fiber, though, this right yep. here will make you go. Let me tell you. Oh, I believe it. I don't need any I help. Love with that. Um. Uh. Next on my list is the new Mountain Dew flavor, which I'm kind of nervous about, but also kind of excited for. I love Mountain Dew, and it is Mountain Dew it's Spark. Spark. Yes, and it is raspberry lemonade. Mm, that is intriguing. Yeah, right. I hope it. I hope it tastes like. I don't know why it would taste like pink lemonade, but that's what I'm hoping for. That's what I'm hoping for. I love pink lemonade. Unpopular opinion. I am a huge pink lemonade fan, and I'm a big Mountain Dew fan. So, but well, after you try this, I have something to go grab out of the fridge real quick. Okay. Because I want to show you my preferred juice. It smells like pink lemonade. If it's a carbonated pink lemonade, I'm screwed. I'll be drinking it instead of Pepsi. How will be that name? <laughs> you, uh, yeah, all right. Uh, good Lord Pepsis, uh, you may want to make a trip to Kroger or whatever establishment you may find this sometime soon. That's good. And it does kind of have like a carbonated pink lemonade. Um, not quite as... You talk, I'll be right back. Okay. It's not quite as sharp as a pink lemonade would be, um, typically. Uh, you know, pink lemonade, most of the pink lemonades I have anyways, I just about knocked my water bottle over. I got regular water in here to balance all this out. It's not got quite as much of a bite as most of the pink lemonades I had. It's not got like that sharp tang, tang is the word I'm looking for, um, which is surprising considering it's Mountain Dew. It's not got quite the tang that I was expecting, but it's still got like a carbonated pink lemonade flavor. And I, am I know we're back here sleeping. For it. I'm back. Welcome back, sir. Um, yeah, so, I'm sure they did. Speaking of lemonade with raspberry, this is my preferred drink of choice. Okay. I've not had that, but I do like the Simply brand. I've had the Simply well, Apple I'll tell you this. juice. With, with this right here, they sell the little bottles. Mm-hmm. It's very unhealthy because of the amount of sugar, but I don't know if it's added sugar or if it's natural sugar. I'm sure it's added. Mm, that's a good point. Uh, ingredient cane sugar. So yeah, it's added sugars, but it's not just straight sugar at least. True. But yeah, I drink this stuff a lot. Like when I go to lunch, I'll grab I'll they got the it. little bottles. It's not as big as like a bottle of pop or something, but yeah, or a soda. We'll Before see. somebody comes at me in the comments, it's soda pop. We'll just leave it at that. Don't make me go on a tangent. I'm already mad at Monster <laughs> Hunter, and I'm mad at Hot Wheels, and I'm not about to go off on oh, this tangent. Oh, no. We're going to start doing Actually, dotchy rants or something. We may be going on one in a minute. I don't know. Oh, man. Listen, I got I got places to be. You can't be. Save your rant. Bottle it up. <laughs> Bottle it up, as, as any good psychiatrist would tell you. <laughs> Say that's the exact opposite of somebody I talked to earlier. Who oh, everybody man. knows as Pinkie Pop. He hey, actually, I talked to him talked earlier to too. Earlier. He same. He messaged me out of the blue. Asked me how everything was. It was nice to hear from him. Same. What the heck? We're calling you out on this on this <laughs> random video, Pinkie Pop. Um, yeah, it, he randomly just messaged me. He's like, "Hey, how's everything going?" He's like, "I miss you, love you, buddy." And then I'm just like. Oh, oh, what is that crap? I've knew him longer, and you got to love you, buddy? Yeah. You I'm didn't. driving to wherever you, the hell he's at. You didn't get a love you? No. Where's my Where's my Discord at? <laughs> Where is my Discord? <laughs> oh, my goodness. While he's, while he's, <laughs> I don't think the rant's going to be bottled up much longer. So I have two other, two final types of chips to try, but they're of the same kind. They're both new, and they are... Lay's layers. So we got uh, sour cream and onion, triple cheddar, and there are it says crispy 
layered potato bites. Uh, I'm gonna try sour cream and onion first, cause. But yeah, it, if you look, it looks like those uh, nacho rings, those like discount off-brand nacho rings or whatever. Um, they're kind of like puffy, uh, almost like onions. a onion. I like cool. onions better than do anything. Onions are pretty good. I. Oh, I don't like that smell. They look weird. I don't too. like you right now. So here's the side, and like little ribbles, and then it's like a it, weird. It looks like a um. Oh, what are them called? I know what you're gonna say. A bugle. No. It kind of looks bugle. like a weird bugle. Are you on drugs? How is it a bugle at all? Like what kind of crap it, are you? Smoking? It has ribbles. It has some little ridges on the side. Hang on. Look at this. That uh, that's not. I'm talking about the like that part. It looks more like a uh, freaking. I don't know that old people cereal. Old people cereal. Yeah, the. Uh, oh, shredded wheats. Yeah, that. The old pooper cereal. I love shredded wheat. I am not wrong. You're Those still... are good, and they're addicting. That could get a person in trouble. Like, it tastes like a sour cream and onion lace, which I'm a big fan of the sour cream and onion. But it's like so airy. Uh -huh. It's like those, but it's very airy and like fluffy taste and it's just very puffy and airy and, and I don't know it's good let's try the triple cheddar shall we or three cheese sorry same thing I really don't have me here I'll try some peanuts that I know I enjoy <laughs> oh gosh I eat them weird though here here check this out I put some in a lid yep. and I just... you're taking like a dang shot <laughs> you're doing like a shot of peanut so for looks wise, it's very much the same. They're just got a little bit of orange to them. Anybody who knows me may not believe this because I love cheese, but I actually like the sour cream and onion version of those better. I don't really care for that three cheese version. Um, like I'm still going to eat it, but the sour cream and onion will be eaten first. Let's put it that way. Uh, I don't know. It just wasn't as good as I would have thought it would be for a three cheese after the hop I got from the sour cream and onion, three cheese didn't really live up to it. Uh, so if I'm going around ranking or rating, whatever, everything to not, my favorites definitely would be the Mamba Forever sour cream and onion chips and the raspberry lemonade Mountain Dew. Which is your favorite? My all, my top favorite. Yeah, I'm calling you out on it. Probably the Mamba Forever. I really like that grape. It's like a, like a grape Gatorade type flavor. And then probably the Mountain Dew. And then the sour cream and onion chips. And then... Oh, man, and then I gotta decide which one's the worst out of the spicy chip and the... Uh, you know what? I'm gonna say that Next to last place is the spicy chip and the three cheese lays is last because the spicy chip is supposed to be loaded nacho and it didn't have that flavor, but it also didn't taste bad. I just didn't taste the nacho. It just tasted like a spicy chip. Whereas in the three cheese, just straight up, I didn't like the taste. It actually tasted bad. So it loses for the nacho. <laughs> for the nacho. Well, you know what, for this episode, whatever, <laughs> until I get more snacks to try, which I have found a store online from which I can purchase different flavors of snacks and all kinds of cool snacks that I'm going to be looking into soon. Um, so stay tuned for a lot more taste testy videos, especially some really crazy weird stuff. 
I may get the wife on a video, fingers crossed, because there's one thing at this store that she wants and wants to try that I do not want to try. But I'll either get her on the video or I will convince myself to to try it. Um, because I'm not a seafood person and I don't like the idea of possibly having to eat dried squid legs. But we'll mm -hmm. see. We'll see. No, I'm good on that. Same. But yeah, so this is uh, our return to form somewhat for the new year. Uh, be on the lookout for more. I've also got um, more videos coming to my Lee Zephyr Books channel. Also, uh, I got a new spot or a new Spotify, a new podcast that I just started with my brother-in-law over on Spotify. Uh, it's called A Study in Cinema which is where we talk about movies and TV shows and stuff. And currently the first episode, which was our top 10 movies of 2021, is up over on Spotify and Anchor, which is like the podcast avenue. So be sure to check that out. And subscribe, like, hit the bell, comment below, tell Dachi happy birthday. Um, and uh, welcome back, guys. It's good to be back. Good to see you guys again. And... Let's get 2022. Let's make it a Not a Sidekick Productions year. Any final words? Words.